back again with my uh, good friend Colin Percival and uh, today we're just going to look at uh, the countries in the world and uh, this uh, infographic has caught our eye. As you can see there are three major countries here that's the USA, um, Russia and Saudi Arabia. They're the tier one countries who uh, they produce quite a lot of oil on a daily basis. And then the second tier Colin? People like Iraq, Iran, uh, United Arab Emirates, who produce sort of the order of three or four million barrels of oil equivalent a day. Yeah, I mean, these are the uh, the countries, many of them in OPEC, they are actually responsible for well over 80% of the uh, the current production. And, and that is a, a number that's likely to grow as we go forward. And places like the North Sea continue to go into uh, decline. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting what, what, what can happen. I mean, the US has gone from declining production to, to number one in terms of uh, world production, mainly through technology and the right fiscal environment to actually make that technology work economically. Fracking. And yeah, fracking. And it shows you, I mean, the US economy has been running on fracked oil and gas. The gas price in the US is one fifth of what it is in the UK. If you've got heavy industry relying on thermal heat, where would you put it? You'd put it in the US. You, the last place you'd put it is somewhere like the UK. And a lot of Europe, very, very high energy prices, but industry in the US benefits. And like you say, it's driving the economic uh, boom that there's been over the last decade. Although, you know, there's some concerns that it may be, uh, may be slowing down. Yeah, but things like AI burn lots of energy. And if that energy is not cheap, AI will not be cheap. You know, we've seen, we've seen here in the UK that, that things like refineries are going to close. Grangemouth in Scotland is going to close. And it's mainly around energy costs. Yeah, the world is changing.